Hi guys, it's me Marie. Today I am making Christmas stockings. You know, it's that time of the year and it's rainy and cold outside, so perfect day for it. So what I do is I just take three copy papers and I just tape them together with some tape and I just, I freehanded this but you can trace a stocking that you already have or print out a pattern, doesn't matter. Um, if you are doing it yourself, um, you need to you need to measure the width of your the top of your stocking because that's for the cuff. Mine is seven and a half, and you can see roughly how long it is because it's three copy papers and copy papers are everywhere the same of uh, A4 size. So, um, okay, so I just went with a pencil and I cut the cuff seven and a half because that's my width and by five inches, okay? So when you cut the cuff, you have to have a folded edge because like I put here, this is the fold and that has to be a fold. So you fold the fabric before you cut. So it's going to be twice as long. It's going to be 10. Okay. So, all right. So obviously you have to cut it. So you have your pattern. Um, okay. So for the cuff, like I said, you have a fold, you have a fold and the fold is on the fold and you just cut it and cut it twice all right so we're doing it twice so i have two this is the cup and um i am going to sew the long side okay these two and I am going to do it um, half an inch. And well, I always do one quarter first and then I do another quarter just to be sure that it's nice. And, but I mean, you can do it whatever. Um, okay, so for the stocking, uh, um, okay, so you have two, from the outside, I'm going to use this nice green. And I have, this two is going to be for the inside. Okay, so, um, the, the inside, I am going to get the right side of the fabric to the inside to so I mean the other one too and I like to get um where are my pins anyways hmm. I like to pin it far from the edge so I don't have to take them out just say it's not safe okay let's get some more I do half an inch in two because I just I don't know I have the idea if you put something too heavy or whatever or if it's gonna poke out or I don't know just my um, idea okay so um, 
I have, I like to do this a lot to get leftover batting and make something out of them. So what I did, and if you don't know how to, I have a video on how to do this. Um, oh, that's nice. Something stuck here. Okay, so I have strokes of batting. I have some batting and I just put them together and I have batting for my stocking. So what I do, I just spray glue it. First to see how well this is big enough like that and I just go ahead and and you can feel where the glue is because it's like a little bit colder Okay, and I just leave it for, I don't know, a minute to just stick. And what I'm going to do with it is I'm just going to make some lines, straight lines. You can free motion, you can do whatever you want with uh, the stockings. But this time I'm just going to do it very easy and uh, simple. So I'm just going to do some diagonal lines like that and the other way to make um, squares more like diamonds because they are diagonal and that I'm going to do for both then I'm going to cut the batting and sew it right sides together all right one is smaller To play with it until you know that it fits and it fits pretty much fine. There. So I'm going to quilt it, cut it, sew it, and be right back. I have, of course, leftover. Um, I think that two inches will be enough. So, and you know, it's roughly, roughly, roughly. This depends also how long you want it. But, I mean, I don't need it to be very um, long. So, there. Two inches. And one, two, three, four, five. Let's do six. I always like to poke a little bit and cut it afterwards. Okay, so what I do is half a 
it's not you know when I am not using my iron it just turns off by itself and uh, okay and again to the middle both sides and watch your fingers okay and again you see right it's pretty hot okay so now to top stitch it just top stitch the one side and the other side and you have your pulley thingy how you call this? Right for it. Okay. Okay, I am going to the sewing machine. And there it is. So, it is sewn right sides together. Now, here in the curve, cut a few and careful not to go over the second line of stitches and I do it also in the lining because it's just I don't know otherwise it's gonna be a little bit stiff but you don't have to if you don't want to but I do so then this is have to get turned okay You can use anything you have, like a, a wooden spoon or whatnot. I have this little tool. You can iron if you want. Okay, so the inside don't have to turn it. We all just gonna get it in there because you know this is the inside. And just get the the sides uh, let me do it this way otherwise I'm gonna pinch myself and the other one to the other one like this see when you open it up the right side is going to be the inside okay so I'm going to push it a little bit don't have to be all the way but just so nice flat okay so the cuff is sewn and now you are going to turn half of it Okay, like this. Put 
pull it. Make sure the seams are together. Okay, everything looks good. Let's get some of the press. Remember, my iron is cold now, so that's why I'm. Because if I don't do that, it's going to get cold again. I have to move it. And when I'm sewing, I'm not moving it, so. Okay, so then just a little. I have my hook thingy that's a loop for hanging the stocking so that is going to go in there too because I am going to sew it all at once okay so seams again on top of each other close Get everything nice and flat. Another. Like that, okay. Now, the loop is going with the round part to the inside, of course. And I am going to put it not on the seam because that is too many, just to the side. And this is going to go between the cup and the lining, okay? I like to just leave a little bit to the outside so I can see that is straight. And remember you can make this as long or as short as you want. Get a pin in here. There, and now I am going to stitch quarter inch all around it, check it, you turn it and check if everything is how it's supposed to be, and it's not too tight or whatever, and then I'll just zigzag on top. You don't have to, again, that is just, you're not gonna see it, it's just, my way of doing things and then I'll be done so I'll be right back all right so it's done and as you can see everything is good you have some threads cut them and there we are with a beautiful 
And you know I have done stockings before and it's different because it's the inside um, and the outside quilted together and that's much more simpler than this one but I like this one because it's nice finished to the inside, it's, it's no raw edges or anything and I don't think that takes a lot of time to do. So okay so what I'm doing now, I'm gonna just see that I can't see the lining and just press there so and there is the beautiful hope you enjoyed the video and if you have any questions just let me know um, if you are wondering about any quilt block that you want to see how it's made ask I'll try to make it for you or show you how to make it and uh, yeah and for support Give me a thumbs up if you like the video and I'll see you next time. Love you guys. Bye-bye.